Today, we're going to be learning about Elmo Woodsy Thomas, born in 1891 and died in 1978. Elma Thomas was born in Georgia, but her family moved to Washington, D.C. in 1907 as part of the Great Migration. She dreamed of becoming an architect and building bridges. But at that time, there were very few women architects. She attended Howard University and became its first fine arts graduate. She went on to teach art at a Washington, D.C. junior high school for 35 years. At age 88, she was the first African-American woman to have a solo exhibition at the Whitney Museum of American Art. So let's take a look at some of her paintings. Here are two of them. And here's a quote by Elma Thomas. Through color, I have sought to concentrate on beauty and happiness rather than man's inhumanity to man. So her paintings are uh, very simplified and abstract, but they may remind you of things that you know. Like the one on the right reminds me of maybe a mountain landscape with a setting sun. Um, this other one uh, might remind you of a flower or the sun when it's first coming up into the um, early morning sky. Okay, here is a, another one of her paintings. Okay, again, it's almost like a sunrise or a sunset. Um, so these are painted and you can see each one of her little brush strokes and they're very, you know, choppy and you can pick out each one, just like she touched the brush with her paintbrush and moved. She didn't smooth them all together. This was definitely her style and each painting of hers, you can see that style. And one more, she was also very inspired by an eclipse that happened during her lifetime. An eclipse is when the moon moves in front of the sun, blocking out the light, except for around the very edges. All right, so let's learn how to make an artwork inspired by Elma Thomas. Hello, my at-home art learners. I hope you enjoyed learning about Elma Woodsy Thomas. We are going to create a piece of artwork inspired by her artwork, and I'll give you guys an option about what paint you want to use. You could use watercolors or you could use uh, the paint and the little containers that got sent home or this container, any of it, all of it. Okay, so first I am going to start with a circle in the middle of my paper. Okay. And then I'm going to surround my circle with little dabs of paint like Alma's work. And I'm going to think of the sunrise when I am making this work. So I am going to mix a little bit of orange and pink together and I'm going to go around again. A little bit. I'm going to go around in the circle with my dabs of paint. You can use whatever colors you want. You don't have to follow mine. Please feel free. But I'm going to continue to use these dabs of paint around my circle in the center. all pink and I'm gonna go around again Thank you. 
and I've kind of run out of room at the top, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep going around for the rest of my paper until I run out of space. And I'm just doing those little dab, short, quick brush strokes all the way around. You know what, I'm gonna add in a little bit of, use a little bit of blue here with my colors. a little bit of blue in with my pink and I'm gonna keep going around and again you can use any colors that you have. You do not have to use mine. And you can use watercolor or the paint and cups. And I have a little bit more room around my edge. It also doesn't have to be like this smooth gradient like that either. But I just decided to use that because that's what I wanted to use. And I'm gonna finish up here doing those brush strokes like Alma Thomas. And there you have it. There is my Elma Thomas inspired painting.